platelets get pulled into this picture once you get it, get the blood vessels, the endothelial cells activated. And once they're there and get activated, they dump out so many pro-inflammatory molecules. And that helps to then recruit the white cells and really drive this, this vascular inflammation, which is the first step in, in, in transplant rejection, really, is it really begins at this vascular interface because the, the white cells need to interact with, with the endothelial cells in order to get localized, to get stimulated, and then to traffic across the blood vessel and really drive this, this inflammation. And one of the things that we're studying is, is graft arterial sclerosis, which is also like atherosclerosis, except it's more of this, this proliferative smooth muscle uh, a lesion is what you see. So we're trying to model that in, in, the, in the mouse model and trying to look at the role of platelets in, in driving that graft uh, arteriosclerosis and as a result the eventual decline of the, of the organ. Because platelets for a long time have really just been looked at as having a role in, in thrombosis. So there's all these other aspects to the, to the, the life of the platelet which, which kind of get lost in the shuffle which I think are starting to become more appreciated for their, for their general role in, in, in just vascular homeostasis in general. So I think that's one of our goals through these, these two reviews we've written, is just bring them to the forefront and, and say, you know, platelets are important. They have these other roles that are, are less explored. So hoping to introduce it to the, to the greater transplant world at large. Um, I think you mentioned Bob Montgomery before. I mean, he's one of the few people who I think do this well as well. Because he, he has a basic science lab, whereas he's also over there doing these, these surgeries. And I think those are the people that are really going to to spearhead and push these things forward. And I think, I think it's people like me who hopefully will provide some of that support, I, I think, for, on the bench side. And, and I think um, we need the, the physician scientists to kind of be the centerpiece. And then for them, they need you know, the, the basic scientist people around them trying to, to help bring new ideas, which can then be potentially put into the clinicals. Where, where we stand in, in our lab is that we've now, you know, I, th I think established the fact that, that platelets help to recruit the white cells. And now the next step is how? What are some of these molecular mechanisms? And that's, that's kind of the, the, the path we're going down now, is, is how the platelets are talking to the white cells, both locally and, and systemically, to help drive this process.